welcome back. You've probably noticed more orange around the state. That's right. That's because thousands of hunters are preparing for this weekend's start to the pheasant hunt. In fact, this year marks the 100th season of pheasant hunting in the state. That it does. When the hunt started in 1919, it was only for one day, and hunters could only bag two pheasants. 1,000 people participated and only grabbed 200 pheasants. In this week's Flashback Friday, we're taking you back to 1982 when hunters had a harder time finding those elusive birds. They're out there, but good luck in shooting them. The state's Game Fish and Parks Department says heavy cover and standing crafts will keep pheasants hidden from this weekend's hunters. The number of the feisty game birds are at last year's count of 4.5 million. Even though there's a high number of ringnecks, unharvested crops and an abundance of natural cover gives pheasants the advantage in this year's hunt. The pheasants are going to be in some tall, thick cover, and uh, you're not going to be able to drive along the roads and just see them standing there as perhaps in drier years. You're going to have to get out. You're going to have to walk fields, work hard and, in order to get a, a limit of birds this year. Following last year's successful hunting season with over a million and a half roosters being bagged, we can expect more sportsmen in the field this year. The state's wildlife division claims the dispersion of the popular bird again will make statewide pheasant hunting good. Former range up in the northeast part of the state looks real good and south and uh, all the way south to the border there's, there's birds. They've, they've really shown a dispersion and I think just about everywhere a hunter is willing to to look good, he's going to find pheasants to shoot. Hunting enthusiasts say that this could be the year that separates the good shots from the rest, stating that it's going to take some real effort before one gets their three bird limit. Ross Heipel reporting, Kettleland News, Pheasant Country. If you would like to check out more of our archive stories, just go to Kelloland.com and search Flashback Friday. I hope he was looking where he was shooting there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. That was a nice little stand-up. Yeah, a lot of people excited about this weekend. We, uh, our producer Hannah took the whole weekend off because she goes out with her family. So That's right. Good. Tradition. A lot of that. And, uh, of course, over, everybody's always watching the weather to see what the wind's going to do and the temperature and all of that. And, you know, a little wind, a little bit of this and that, but it's not bad, is it, Scott? 